Monday afternoon, it's about 1, March 26th. I just put up these dangling solar lights, which are badass, by the way. <laughs> They're being powered by this tiny little panel, so we're going to see how they work. And maybe get some more. So this will help us harvest at night and just generally come in and enjoy this when it's not blazing hot. But let's just check this progress in here. And you can see the peas. They're doing great. And we've been feeding these to the chickens. And our strawberries are doing well. These giant watermelon radish are coming up amazingly. And we got Alaska pea coming up in a couple places. As well as lettuces, uh, collard greens, beets, kale, some other brassica. We got a tarragon pop in here, and this is a raspberry coming up. These are, there's a mint. This is a bare root, uh, what is Ignatia. this? Ignatia. <laughs> <laughs> and these are uh, shard, it looks like ruby streaks or I mean uh, ruby red and then some more shard and we've got uh, brassicas and looks like some red leaf romaine some times and Leah's down here working hard finishing her walkway hello <laughs> <sighs> and then we'll come over to the other side and we got so I just planted this whole area and then we have more of these giant watermelon radishes a row of rainbow carrots which needs to be warm for a carrot to pop so it's staying warm enough you can see how massive these sprouts are and then this is a bok choy area I believe definitely some type of Asian cabbage mm. and then we have a uh, Maybe some sparkler red tip radish. Some other brassicas. We're going to see when they get older what they are. This uh, strawberry looks great. Tons of flowers and tons of berries. There's our first strawberry in the greenhouse. <laughs> and then we got garlics popping. More peas for fodder for our uh, chickens and for our humans and for our soil. And you can see the uh, market spinach here is doing really nice. So in a few weeks, we're going to have a really good salad potential in here. These are our berry bushes that were donated. And you can see these rhubarbs are popping now. We're going to be selling rhubarb at the market. Um, so I'm going to grow about 10 rhubarbs. I just got some bare roots. And they're coming right up. And that's about it. We were just discussing a fodder system for our uh, solar greenhouse that will be in the front yard, which basically will grow this for our chickens, but automated and soilless. So as you can see here, I've used soil for this fodder. Um, but the fodder system is a rotating rack system where you have uh, seven different levels of racks and one every day there's a group of racks that are ready and then you bring them feed your chickens so we'll be feeding our chickens fresh sprouted grain from the local uh, grain supplier here over in uh, the San Luis Valley and that's our plan there so we're planning on uh, working towards 100% of all food coming directly off of this land that feeds the animals here so currently, we're spending a lot of money buying food. And in a time in the future where we, the stores won't be open, that's not going to be an option. So you need to be, have backup lettuces that you forgot about growing by the hundreds everywhere. Spinaches like this. There's even a squash coming up that shouldn't be. And there's like a tomato or that could be a Cosmo. I think it is. There's some flowers popping in here. So... That's by accident and by design because uh, we have a geothermal greenhouse to get things going way early. And that's the whole point of this. We still have a lot, long way to go. This can all be planted. We have these major planting areas for tomatoes, water features. But I still got to insulate all this and it takes time. Time takes time. 
So that's where we're at. Bye, Leah. Bye, darling. <laughs> and we got a long way to go. But we're working on it. We gotta start somewhere. So the geothermal greenhouse is probably 80% complete. It's growing food in abundance right now. And we're gonna soon have a gigantic 100 meter solar greenhouse uh, in the front yard here. Facing south, fully automated, um, and you're definitely gonna be following us all summer as that baby gets built. And hopefully the barn will have a front greenhouse before that greenhouse gets here and I'll fix the tie vac and get the siding on. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people that are interested in what we're doing. Got any questions, leave it in the comments and I should be able to get to them all. Be safe, everybody.